Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I crack into the FC and go over what's changed with the build direction. Before we do that, let's talk about Rotary Reunion 2021. Yep, that's my old RX2 on display. Well, technically it's not mine anymore. You see, I finally caved in and accepted an offer that made good sense to move on. The new owner wishes to remain anonymous for now, but let's just say he's quite well known at Reunion. I didn't really get to tell the story behind the car as I was holding off until I started the build. But now that it's gone, let me give you the short version. Back in late 2018, I occasionally told Jace to keep an eye out for an RX2 sedan, as I was looking to get something in 2019 or so. Within a week, and well before I was ready, he had something lined up for me via LA to Wellington shipping. Before I knew it, the car was in the country and at Jason's garage. I was surprised to learn the original colour wasn't silver like the images suggested, but a wicked shade of blue. The car came complete, which is actually quite hard to find. But I'd been sitting around on a Californian ranch since the 90s, and as you can imagine, everything was seized up. Despite our efforts, we couldn't get it turned over. Even the spark plugs were stuck. The car was sent to sit in my garage, where it remained untouched until the week leading up to reunion. Take my car, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where the story ends for me in the old RX2, but it's only just beginning for the new owner. I wish him the best of luck and can't wait to see what he does with it. Checking out another of my old cars, I was reminded that eventually you do get over the what could have been phase after a sale, especially when they turn out as well as this. So with the sale of the RX2, it's kind of made me rethink what I was going to do with the FC. I had a plan for RX2 and had a plan for the FC, both kind of complemented each other, but now that I've only got one rotary, I kind of really had to rethink what I wanted to do. So what that means essentially is the project scope for the FC is now much bigger than it was before. Uh, obviously timeline is going to be pushed out a lot more and it's going to cost a lot more but I think the end result will be a much better car than it would, it would have been if I kept both of them.
start taking a few other things off as you can see starting to look more and more bare every minute I uh, just wanted to quickly show you something so obviously you have electric power steering there's the pump there there's the reservoir um, and you can tell it was a bit of a, a home job when it was initially relocated you got a hard line going into a soft line going into a hard line going into a soft line going into a hard line going into a soft line going into a hard line I think all the stuff here up to maybe this point in this factory possibly possibly here somewhere but um, yeah so that's obviously not going to be like that when I'm done it's a baby boy and I assume come from an Imatu these things are pretty bloody heavy so I'll see if there's a lighter option on the market uh, this one is still working all right, it's looking a bit old, but um, yeah, if there's something just a little bit lighter and maybe a bit more modern, we'll grab that. I hear Astra pumps are the way to go. But if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments. All right, so the next thing to come out is the brakes or at least the, the lines and the uh, master and the booster so I've just been training and uh, letting the fluid trip out over the last couple of days Blair's here again uh, yeah so we'll, we'll carry on with that and hopefully be in a position to move this loom completely out um, and really get a sense for um, how bare we can get this engine bay Is just the last hard line uh, attached to the uh, master cylinder and then we'll be able to take the master cylinder out uh, and then work on the booster. Or more boost. Or well, less boost in this case. <laughs> so going well that should come out. Cool. Pretty uh, hoary, good old 80s tech. Buck functional. Oh, it does the job, doesn't it? To the max. Now with the master out of the way, we're moving on to the booster. Uh, that is held in place by four nuts up under the firewall by the brake pedal. Uh, and then it should just slide out. Pretty awkward there, so we'll let, uh, we'll let Blair do it. I'm trying to really just get it in a position where it's actually going to work. Mm. And how's about that shift knob? Because we're a working man in the sun. So we just spent the better part of 20 minutes struggling getting the four bolts out. Um, two of them we did by hand with a good old ratchet. But uh, the other two we did in about 10 seconds with power tools. So Powerful lesson one. learnt. Use the power tools. Unboosted. Look at how fresh that paint is. Crispy. This is nasty. It was leaking too. Yeah, so it looks like this had been leaking in its life. Weeping. Seeping. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit crusty. So we'll clean it up or get a new replacement one that's looks like a bit a tidier. Giant.
Oh, third of thought, I probably should have <laughs> trained that first, but uh, she's the, out now. To the max. Another one. The overall objective will become clear as I release more and more videos, but for now it's all about the teardown and declutter of the engine bay as you can see. It's looking pretty bare in here at the moment, which is bloody awesome. Alright, so I think I'll leave it there with this one. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.